is crimes against humanity. The more illegals you bring into a country, the less chance the nation itself will rise up against you. If you, if you dilute the populace sufficiently with bad English speakers or people who don't even understand the language, the less chance there is that they'll actually catch you and put you in prison for what you've done to the nation. So that's one plan. Then it's cheap labor, obviously. Uh, voters for Hillary, immediate voters for Hillary. They don't know her from a hole in the wall, but they tell them to vote D and they'll vote D, that's all. Any language they can see, vote D or R. It's that simple. When Johnny comes marching home again, there'll be no America left for Johnny. So here we are, goodbye 2015, and that's it. Meanwhile, the building in the Dubai, I watched all day like a torch. And they're already putting out the cover story that it was fireworks. A, that's a lie. Tell you right off the bat, fireworks don't set a building on fire. Uh, number one, there's it's a modern building, which are extremely fire resistant, and there's sprinkler systems throughout. And the reason they're telling you that it was fireworks is because they don't want you to know that the terrorists, the Islamic terrorists, went after the moderate uh, Muslims who own the who own and run Dubai, and set a building on fire for New Year's Eve. That would be my guess. That's all. Straight out guess. An act of terrorism, as sure as I'm sitting here, whether or not it comes out in 2016 is a, a, is a subject of debate. That building did not go up because of fireworks. And when I saw it, I said, they're worldwide. Hitler is alive and well. He doesn't speak German. He speaks Arabic. He doesn't march to an umpa pa band. He is not wearing a swastika on his arm. Hitler is wearing a different insignia. And he's not reading from Mein Kampf. He's reading from another book today a book that originated in the desert over a thousand years ago. Yes, indeedy. It's very hard to see reality. God sees the truth, but waits, man, I don't know if God's asleep or what. God's watching all of this going on in the world. He's watching the Arabic Hitlers rage across the planet, burning, killing, raping, decimating populations, raping girls, destroying Christianity in the Middle East. Killing people in Paris, killing people in San Bernardino. God sees the truth but waits. I have one request, God. Can you please get off your behind and stop them before the world goes up in flames? Hey, God, we're talking to you. Back in a minute. It is. Well, Carson's out. He lost uh, two top aides, quit his campaign. He had his 15 months of fame. Let him go back to pediatric neurosurgery. You know what I'm saying? He had a great career. He could do uh, lectures. There's a book worth $3 million in it for him. It's good running for the presidency in America. No one loses. Even the losers win in America. It's such a fraudulent system. Obama taking executive action on gun control next week. The psychopath is not finished yet. Oh, no, he's just getting started. U.S. population, it's 323 million, a new immigrant every 29 seconds. Oh, yeah. Here's another one for you. 60 Minutes is about to report that Italian olive oils might be fakes. Fakes. It says most of the extra virgin olive oil imported from Italy is probably fake. I always knew that. I could just taste it and tell you it's, it's a fraud. 60 Minutes, Italian olive oils might be fake thanks to mob. No kidding. It says the mob's control of Italy's most famous food staple is so powerful that even some of its wines and cheeses are likely to be phony. No kidding. You mean that explains the headaches I get from most Italian bread? No kidding, except the most expensive? No kidding. I mean, I didn't need a story like this. If I have olive oil, I use pure... There's only... A, California, by the way, has the best, the most, uh, let's say, reliably virgin olive oil in the world. They have actual controls and checks. I only use California virgin olive oil. I can tell you by taste what it is. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE. Savage. Warning. The Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. Talk radio for the thinking person, home of borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. Hello, Mayhem. Yeah, 
now goes on a comedian show. We were talking about it last hour. Flooding America. Work permits to foreign college graduates. And the young f- folks who come out of colleges are all liberals and Democrats. They don't even know what this man is doing to them. 100,000 new H-1B visas. Green cards to people who cannot get into this country because the quotas have been reached in order to undermine the wages of young college graduates and reward Mark Zuckerface, who has lobbied so hard for cheaper labor. And then I ended the hour with um, the 60 Minutes report that's airing this Sunday about fake olive oil coming out of Italy. Now, the, it's interesting to me, 60 Minutes is saying Italian olive oils might be fake thanks to the mob, who makes more money on fake olive oil than they do on cocaine. Can you believe this? It says a gallon of extra virgin olive oil, pure from the first press, can cost up to $50. To create an imitation with seed oil and other uh, adulterants may cost just $7. And as you may know, extra virgin olive oil is of higher quality than reg- regular olive oil, and it's the only cooking oil made without the use of chemicals and in industrial refining. And I buy it myself in California. The California Certified Organic is apparently reliable. I can smell oil and tell you whether it's adulterated, but that's me. I have a super sharp nose. Most of us don't know. And secondly, you know, even if we do, when you go to a restaurant, do you really know what you're eating? My aunt was right. It's garbage, by and, by and large. They get the cheapest of anything. Cover it with a sauce. That's French food to a T. Last month alone, Italian authorities seized 7,000 tons of fake extra virgin olive oil. Can you believe this? But the problem is this, because if you adulterate extra virgin olive oil with seed oil, and you're allergic to seed oil, you might die or get very sick. You don't even know this. So here we go. You got fake wine. You got fake cheese. The CBS News program says Italy's gone a long way in reversing this uh, this trend of adulterated uh, wine and cheese. And well, now it's back, according to 60 Minutes. So I'm lucky I live in California because I can get good wine, good cheese. I don't drink California wine, though. If I drink wine, I only like very expensive Italian wine. But a couple of times I had some bad Italian wine recently. This, this would explain it. Although it said it was, you know, it wasn't. They, they threw the chemical job in there. I don't know what they're using to, to fake the wine. I, I don't even drink it. It's I like vodka. It's more pure. All right, end the story. Right, you're drinking it because you think you're going to live forever. Well, anyway, you know the stories. They're pretty bad. I don't want to depress you any further for the end of the year. We covered some pretty bad stories in the first hour. Obama going on the Jerry Seinfeld fake radio or whatever. I don't know, television or Hulu. I don't know what it is. And says most many world leaders are insane. Not himself, of course. And then you have a lying government that's like adulterated olive oil. Here, for example, is a spokesmouth for the State Department saying that ISIS is contained. Listen to clip number four. Wait, before you play it, Robert, this is related to the olive oil. In other words, instead of getting unadulterated oil out of the mouths of these spokesmouths, the Lenny Reifenstahls of our time, the Goebbels of our time, who worked for Obama, we're getting contaminated olive oil in the form of lies. Listen to four. And I've been tracking this particular enemy now for more than a year. This, this is not the same group that they were. They're not moving about as freely as they were. They are much more contained in Iraq and Syria. 25 to 30 percent of their territory that they once had now has been taken away from them. Uh, they are. They have Shut now up. pretty much lost Ramadi. The, the, still- the deep breaths. Okay, they got the biggest liar they could find at Harvard. The kid who uh, was the, known as the biggest liar in grade school and then moved up to high school, again won the prize for the biggest liar then was rewarded with a scholarship to the uh, to Harvard because he was a better liar than anyone else in the school, now was rewarded by being hired by the State Department because he was a better liar yet. Yeah, ISIS is contained. All right. Hotels are on fire. Girls are being raped around the clock on an industrial level, not seen since the rape of Nanking. I wanted to talk about that, but it's too depressing a topic. I love all the liberals who tell us how bad the Japanese treated the Koreans and the Chinese in World War II, they don't even do that, though, because it violates the idea that all Asians are peace-loving and only the white male is, is the bad guy. So you don't even hear about the rape of Nanking, where when the Japanese troops invaded China and they took control of this once beautiful city, they created an, uh, like an industrial rape machine. They raped girls around the clock until they died. I, I'm telling you something that's heartbreaking. ISIS is doing the same thing. 
and Obama's talking about it in Jerry Seinfeld's car. In this regard, if there was justice in the world, a guy like Jerry Seinfeld would be held up on war crimes for aiding and abetting a man who is letting this go on. But, you know, I know guys like Jerry Seinfeld. I went to school with them. I know what the type they are. They think they're smarter than everybody. They got an answer for everything. They got a big mouth on them. They know everything. If you're a nuclear physicist, they'll lecture you about your field. If you're an expert in plastics, they'll tell you how plastics are made. I know the type. And because he made a billion dollars on a terrible television show, he now knows how to be a good stooge for the worst president in the history of the world, in my opinion. I have to add in my opinion. I don't know why. Of course it's my opinion. What else is it? Your opinion? 855-400-7282. If you want to get into the last show of the year, you can't. We're sold out as usual. I don't know what 2016 is going to bring to you. Anyone know what 2016 is going to bring? I mean, uh, I don't. I'm not a fortune teller. We can pretty much predict what the madman is going to try to do with no opposition. You know that Paul Ryan is running the quizzling uh, Democrat socialist government inside the Republican Party. He's running a puppet Democrat Party inside the Republican Party. That's what he was put in power for. So we have a one-party system. We have a press that's in cahoots with the same one-party system. The government media complex, as yours truly taught you, in 1998. So what hope is there? Well, God sees the truth but waits. But I think God, I have a feeling God went to sleep. I know many of you are going to take a, you know, umbrage at that. No, oh, God, you know, he wants this to happen. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not so sure. Let's assume for a minute that there is a God, a God, the God, the true God. Why is he letting this happen? Why is he letting this imposter do this to this great nation? Why is he letting ISIS rape its way and kill its way across the globe? Why? Why is he not punishing Merkel, who is destroying Germany? I've said to you before that what Merkel is doing is the equivalent of what Hitler did in reverse. You say, what? what did he just say? Hitler invaded other countries to impose Nazi ideals, if you want to call them that, on surrounding nations. We all know that was evil, and Hitler ended in a disaster for Germany. Destroyed the nation. Merkel is doing the same thing in reverse. She's invading her own nation with one million Syrians, for example. If that's not the equivalent of what Hitler did in reverse, which means the end result may be the same, she will wind up destroying Germany. So people at dinner last night, we were in the Chinese last night, they said to me, why would Merkel do a thing like that? I said, you know, I had a caller a few months ago who's German speaking, who educated me on why Merkel's doing this to Germany. That is flooding them with illegal aliens from Syria, Muslims who will never integrate into society. All you will see is a, destroy, a, a disastrous civil war in Germany. Despite all Germans, every poll wants it stopped, except the far left communists who want, it to, who want to destroy their own nation, because they're suicidal, as you well know. The Germans don't want it, bankrupting the country, and she's doing it. And I said to the woman, why? She said she comes from East Germany from a communist background. I said, oh, my God, it's like a bell went, like a light went off in my head. And when I told it to these intelligent people I was at dinner with, they said, oh, my God, that explains it. She's a diehard communist who wants to destroy our own nation. Now let's come across the Atlantic to Obama. Why is he doing the same thing to this country? Fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. That's all. But where's God in all of this? What God? What does he have to do with the, Mackey, the monsters who were doing this to these countries? Where is God? You know, it reminds me like Elvis has left... The auditorium. Remember that old joke, Elvis. How did it go? Elvis has left the. Elvis has left the building. People were like still looking for him. That's the answer to the God question. He got tired with man. He got tired of what we're doing. He left. He left the building. He went to another universe. This was an experiment that he had one morning, nothing to do. One morning in eternity, he had nothing to do. So he created man on earth. And he said, what a mess. This is This is like a bad erector set. I'm Forget about this. I can't control it. They're killing each other. They're raping each other. They're lying to each other. I can't do anything with them, no matter how I try to scare them. I create floods. I create famines. I create this. I create that. And they don't learn. Forget about it. I want nothing to do with them. I'm leaving. I'm leaving the, I'm leaving the theater. I'm going. That's what I think sometimes. So you say, how do you live, Eilis, in Gaza? How do you live without God? I don't know. I guess I'll have to get used to it. What did I just say? I don't know.